I'm Stumpy Nubs, and this is my shop back cyclone. That six inch PVC was just the right size for the barrel. Who knew? It saved me a ton of work. Cyclones don't really create more suction. In fact, if the cyclone is not designed properly, it's gonna reduce your suction. You have to size everything correctly, the diameter of the barrel and the taper of the cone. These things matter. But if you do it right, that little tornado inside is gonna slow down the dust and force it to drop out of the airstream and into the bin below before the air exits through your filters. That's gonna keep your filters from clogging, which is the biggest thing when it comes to maximizing power. I know it works because I've been using commercial models for years. First in Oneida, and then I got one of the Clearview Minis. They work great, especially the Clearview. Why build my own? I don't know, I guess I like the challenge. Chick stick vacuums, right? The cone was definitely the most difficult part. I knew I wanted the upper diameter to fit the barrel, and I knew I wanted the angle of the side to be 11 degrees because that's the most efficient taper. So I cut out a disc with an 11 degree bevel all the way around the edge and then wrapped paper around it to form a cone. It took a little bit of fussing. The cone kept coming out lopsided, but I got it eventually. The length of the cone was important too. When I started doing research for this thing, I was amazed at how all these little subtleties in shape and size can make a big difference, even with the commercial models. I mean, the Clearview one is not designed that way by accident, so I tried to stick to those standards. Sheet metal is expensive, so I just went to the home center and in the HVAC section, you can get these things called joist pans. They're like six bucks, and they're just the right thickness. You have to work it a little bit to make it pliable. You don't want to kink it. I even used some wood scraps to help form the cone. Kind of got a little bit creative with it. I forgot to wear gloves. You might think you're not getting cut, but wait until you wash your hands and feel all those little tiny cuts you didn't know about burning. I really had to think ahead so that the overlap inside the cone didn't go against the direction that the air was going to circulate. I made sure to check it before I put the rivets in, so that was a good thing. I had to taper the inlet because one end had to be big enough for the hose connector but the other end had to be narrow enough to fit inside the cyclone barrel. I used just an off-the-shelf shot vac extension tube for the center outlet because it was just the right size and I knew that the hose would easily slip into the end on top so I didn't have to worry about getting all that stuff to fit together. my cyclone, but mounting it to the vacuum, that's a whole other story. <laughs>